a common situation that's encountered when adding a lead to an existing uh, system is that a wire, often a glide wire, is easily advanced uh, into the central circulation, um, but when you go to advance uh, either a sheath uh, or a balloon for venoplasty, uh, the guide wire doesn't provide enough, the glide wire doesn't provide enough support. So in this case you can see we're trying to advance a balloon and here's the tip of the balloon and it's buckled back uh, as we try to advance the balloon through the occlusion uh, which is here. So what do you do under these circumstances? Uh, there's actually a fairly standard uh, set of uh, sequence of, of, of steps that you can take to deal with this. Um, the first step uh, is to uh, understand that you need to exchange the glide wire for a more supportive wire. And to do that uh, you need a catheter that will go over the glide wire into the central circulation to serve as a conduit for wire exchange. And having the right catheter available uh, is very important. This catheter uh, needs to have sufficient support that you can advance it through the obstruction, uh, one that doesn't buckle and bend uh, when you uh, try to push it. and and a catheter that doesn't buckle and bend we will refer to as having pushability. Um, one of the catheters that frequently uh, is available uh, is this uh, slip cath uh, from uh, Terumo and the problem with it is that it's uh, although it's very slippery it, ha it doesn't have any metal braid so it's just a plastic catheter and it's very floppy and so you can't really push it very well. Um, on the other hand uh, a braided catheter such as this Merit catheter it's uh, hydrophilic uh, that is it's very slippery just like the slip cath but importantly it has metal braid uh, so that it doesn't buckle and bend uh, when you try to advance it. Um, and so this is the catheter uh, that I use uh, for advancing over the glide wire uh, to serve as a conduit. And so what we're doing here is we're just advancing this catheter over the glide wire. And again the features that allow us to do this are its pushability and the fact that it's hydrophilic. So it's the outside of the catheter is as slippery uh, as the glide wire itself. And once you get the um, glide wire, it, once you get this, the catheter into the central circulation, the uh, glide wire is removed and an Amplatz wire uh, is placed through uh, the catheter and then the catheter removed. And now with the Amplatz wire we're, we have enough um, support from the wire to advance the balloon through the occlusion and in this case uh, we'll inflate the balloon uh, to its rated burst pressure uh, of uh, uh, 30 atmospheres is the balloon that I use now, it's so ultra non-compliant um, and you want to just inflate the balloon until the, the waste is eliminated and uh, the pressure stable. It's important when you're doing this to be sure to uh, continue a head-to-tail overlap uh, until it, you see the tail of the balloon in the pocket. Um, so a head-to-tail overlap is defined as placing the tip of the balloon uh, where the tail was so that you have an overlap of the balloon all the way uh, from, this severe, from the superior vena cava all the way back until you see the, the balloon tail of the balloon in the pocket. And you can see here that the initial impression was is that we didn't need to bring the balloon back, but here you see this very tight stenosis that would have been uh, very difficult to deal with if we hadn't brought the balloon further back and inflated. Um, although over the years I have the most experience with six millimeter balloons, 
I found that the 9 millimeter balloon uh, is less likely to leave any elastic recoil. So I started going to the 9 millimeter balloons more frequently. Some of my colleagues uh, actually start with a 10 millimeter balloon uh, and haven't reported and, and have no trouble with complications. Um, if you're going to add two leads to the same access, uh, for example, you're going to upgrade from a pacemaker to a by the ICD, so you have to add an LV lead and an ICD lead, uh, you really need to start with a 9mm balloon or use the, the 6mm balloon twice uh, after the first sheath is in. So I hope you find this uh, useful um, and uh, you can find it on Buy the Tips uh, and soon I'm going to have a website called buyvtips.com where all of these uh, videos will be posted as well. Thank you. Hope this is helpful.